There are six principles for a governance system. They are very similar to the principles set out in COBIT 5, with only minor changes. These are provide stakeholder value, adopt a holistic approach, produce a dynamic governance system, ensure governance is distinct from management, tailoring to meet enterprise needs, and providing an end-to-end -end governance system. These six principles encompass the core requirements of a governance system. We will look at each of these in turn. Providing stakeholder value is the first principle. A governance system needs to meet stakeholder needs in order to generate value from the use of INT. The second principle describes the importance of a holistic approach. A governance system should be defined for the whole organization, not just the IT department, so this is key. The third principle mentions the word dynamic. A system needs to be responsive, nothing is fixed, and the digital market particularly is constantly changing. Therefore, a system needs to be able to adapt to changes in the environment and any developments as they emerge. The fourth principle stresses the fact that management should be seen as separate and distinct from governance. Governance processes and activities will be different from management processes and activities, but the two entities should be managed by a single system. Tailoring is the fifth principle. A set of design factors should be used to customize and prioritize governance system components. Finally, the governance system should cover the enterprise from end to end, encompassing all of the technology and information processing capabilities that are in operation within the business.